It's now time for Remember When with Uncle John. John Guess, Washita County's resident storyteller and local historian. Sit back now and enjoy a walk down memory lane as John recalls the days of yesteryear in his own unique way. You never know, some of it might even be true. So here's Uncle John, along with his trusty sidekick, Kelly Blair. Back on Remember When with Uncle John. Well, here we are at the next best thing to a Friday. Great thing about it, though, we still got our same great sponsors, including ProMed Ambulance Service. Give them good folks a call, 1-800-634-0436, serving Randolph, Lawrence, Ashley, Union, Dallas, and Calhoun County. Also, the Prescott Raceway. You can check out the full schedule at prescottraceway.net. You can call them at 904-5952. Head on over to 5121 50, uh, Highway 53 East each and every Saturday. Uh, the weather's good. They're racing. I guarantee you on that. Or you could always go by and see Jackie Lewis at the Napa store and talk to him about what they got coming up, who they got coming in, and all that kind of great stuff. Also, Sherwin-Williams House Paint, 315 Jefferson Street here in Camden can hook you up with all kinds of home improvement needs, especially if it includes paint. Indoor or outdoor, 836-8125. Greg Bradshaw and his staff can point you in the right direction. And let's don't forget our good friend, J.J. Lindsay down to Shopper's Guide. If you got some printing needs, if you need some stationery, some business cards, whatever your printing needs, give J.J. a call. There you go. Absolutely. So, what do you want to talk about here on a Thursday, John? September the 29th, 1966. Oh, going back a minute. General Motors Chevrolet Division introduced the Camaro. Oh, nice. The Camaro, September 29th, 1966. And... In answer, their answer to the Mustang. Yeah, it was a pretty good to com- answer. To compete with Ford Motor Company in the pony car division, the Camaro. The 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 Mustang, you know, is on up there now. Don't get me wrong. Ford did real well when they did Mustang. But, I mean, Camaro's not a bad option. I can't remember which comedian was, but he said Camaro was a, uh, a, a foreign word that meant fill the sucker up again. <laughs> there you go. But uh, I remember being a young boy, first grade. Coming to Camden with my brother in 1966, going by R.L. Summer Chevrolet, which is down where uh, B&M Painting is now, um, uh, David Pryor's daddy, Edgar Pryor, had the Chevrolet place that used to be across from the, the courthouse. Later on, it became Goodyear, and now it's part of the Methodist Church. But he built the Chevrolet place down on the river uh, in the 50s. And then later on, he passed away, and it was it was ran by R.L. Summers. Okay. R.L. Summers Chevrolet. I remember being six years old. Now, you know, I don't remember a lot of things, but when it comes to cars, I remember. Oh, yeah, no doubt. They had a red one and a blue one on display down there. Nice. The red one, the blue one, had a six-cylinder and an automatic transmission in it. Okay. And the red one had a small block V8 and a four-speed transmission. Now we're talking. And I remember them. I don't. Remember, we didn't. I didn't set in one, but I remember the hoods were up on them, and I remember walking around them, looking at them, and I can remember that like it was this morning. And you know the Camaros have been around ever since. And and you know uh, I'm pretty fond of certain varieties of Camaros. You know I, I I told you earlier. You know I used to didn't care about them because they were everywhere. Right. They were like Mustangs. Everywhere you looked, you saw one. But over the years, I've kind of I've kind of softened toward them. Of course, later on, I had a couple. Uh, I had a I had a 1990 model with a, with T tops in it. You know, I had an 86 model or 87 model at one time. But you know, uh, I just remember those two Camaros down at R.L. Summers, and what I remember about them was they were given they had free cokes and hot dogs. Oh, look out! Now you're talking. And, you know, a, a coke and a hot dog in those days was a big deal hey look even in 2022 you have free food you're guaranteed to have a bigger crowd but i remember i remember the red one and the blue one they had the hoods up on them the doors were open you know and you could you could you know it was just a big deal they should have had a white one too red white and blue well maybe they did have one later on there you go but i just remember the you know i remember the two the red one and the blue one and um Camaros have been around ever since. Absolutely. Definitely a part of Americana right there. That's a pretty good memory right there. I, I like that one. Absolutely. 
All right, that's going to wrap up our Remember When with Uncle John here for today, folks. You can always catch us on podcast, though. If you missed us somewhere along the line or you say, you know, my old buddy so-and-so would love to hear about these Camaros John was talking about, find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google, YouTube, or you can just find us right here on our Facebook page for Radio Works here in Camden. I guess we'll see you tomorrow, John. See you tomorrow, Kelly. You've been listening to Remember When with Uncle John on Y95. This broadcast can be heard each weekday morning at 645 on South Arkansas's favorite station, Y95.